there's something bothering this cow's left front foot, and that problem is right underneath here, but it's probably not what you're expecting. Welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. You could probably hear my knife coming across them, and there are more right here. Let's get this foot trimmed up and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. What is it? There's a bunch of tiny stones lodged in that groove in the sole of her hoof. Now typically, those rocks are going to find the white line. Not in this case. In this case, they found their way into some of that incomplete shedding, and they've driven themselves through that sole. As we take a closer look, you can see those little rocks and the path they've taken to get in there and you can see that they are not in that white line. The white line is out here, and clearly this is on the inside of that. If it's not clear, it'll become much clearer here in a minute. I'm using my grinder here to thin that sole down around that groove, and I know how far to go based on the shading behind that. I can see some darker coloration behind that, meaning there's separation there. So I'm going to thin that down as far as I can. Then I'm going to pull that knife out and we're going to work our way around. And yes, there were still some stones in there. Now we're going to figure out what exactly they've done. Now there is a lot of background noise from the fan that I'm set up under, but you can probably still hear my knife coming across those rocks and sand up underneath this sole. You can see that debris in there. That's what we got to get cleared away and you'll get a much better view of what we're dealing with. How do I know how much to take away here? Well, if it's loose and I can safely remove it, I'm going to do that. If I can't take it away safely, then I'm going to leave it in place and we'll get it on that follow-up trim. With this trim, it's pretty straightforward. The separation extends out away from where those rocks work their way through, so I don't really have to worry about safety in this case because I've got a good layer of sole underneath this separation, so I'm able to remove that. Once we get this all trimmed away, we're gonna get that area cleaned up and be able to see exactly where those rocks went through. And yes, we are going to use a block in this situation. You'll notice I'm using a different wheel here. Typically, the wheel that I use for cutting has got uh, shaving blades on it, carbides that shave the hoof away. This is more of a, of a rasp type wheel, an abrasive type disc, roughs up the sole um, so that my glue has more surface area to try to stick to. Just gives it a better, better bond when I apply my glue to that. Some people have asked questions about these blocks and are they omnidirectional? They're actually a little narrower toward the bottom than they are the top. So even though they look like they are, they're not. They, so they can be put on backwards. Someone was questioning that last time. Why don't you just flip it over if you put it on wrong? It is a little wider at one end, not a big deal. But if you got the time, you might as well do it right. So I put them on the right way. 
Once we get this block on, we're gonna go back and clean that area. We've still got a little bit of loose horn up near the top there to remove. We're gonna get that area cleaned up and get a wrap on that. Right in the center of that sole is where those rocks work their way through. It's just a small little area there, but enough to cause some problems. So we're gonna get that area cleaned up and get her a salicylic acid wrap. Just a few little loose bits yet to trim up near the top here, and all my trimming will be done. Like I said, salicylic acid wrap is going to come next once we get this area all cleaned up, and that's just to prevent any infiltration from bacteria that could cause digital dermatitis on that. It doesn't look like it at this point, but you don't want to ever take your chances with, with a case like this because we know that those rocks have worked their way through. It's certainly plausible that those bacteria have as well. So we're going to get it cleaned up nice and try to prevent that. Once I get this foot wrapped up and get it put down, I'll give you a nice close up and you'll be able to see exactly how that block works, how it elevates that other claw off the ground as she walks. You probably noticed how I put some glue on the side of the hoof before I put that block on. That's also just to give some more room for that glue to, to lock onto that hoof and to hold that block in place just a little bit better. Here she is standing on that. As we zoom around here, swing around, you can see that difference there, how that block is elevating that claw, keeping her from putting any pressure on that whatsoever. And now she is done. You'll notice she does have a wrap on that other claw, a little der dermatitis on that one as well. So we'll take care of that while she's in there. Now she's ready. Off once again. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.